Hey you guys, I'm Journey. Welcome back to my Photoshop reviews here on Movie Melee, where I review something using my shitty to mediocre Photoshop skills. Today I'm gonna be reviewing The Chilling Adventures of Sabrina, A Midwinter's Tale. I have never actually reviewed any of The Chilling Adventures of Sabrina, so I'll be covering a little bit of the main series also. So before we start, make sure you smash that like button because I am desperate for gratification. Also, if you're new here, make sure you subscribe because we want to make more videos, but we need your guys' help. So, let's get started. I'm a 90s kid, so I watched Sabrina the Teenage Witch with Melissa Joan Hart. But no, I did not have a crush on her. I had a crush on Hilary Duff. Thank you very much. Ah, <sighs> When I was younger, I wasn't the geek I am today. I was probably a lower tier loser. So, I didn't know about any comics. And I sure didn't know about Sabrina or the Archie comics. I was a loser, I know. This new Netflix show though is supposed to be closer to what the comics were. Darker, satanic, aunts were terrible people and Sabrina was, well, pastier. They really pushed the whole satanic church stuff on us. I swear, when I was watching The Chilling Adventures of Sabrina, I felt like I was watching a satanic version of a Jehovah's Witness TV show. Hey Art, will I get in trouble for that comment? The show starts off slow. Sabrina's super annoying and she's so lovey-dovey and, well, I'm just being petty because she is in a very happy relationship with Harvey. And also, she's a very young and strong female witch. Man, I really miss those days. I mean, being young and in love, not a female. The show actually starts getting better for me after the sixth episode. Let's compare Sabrina's. Melissa Joan Hart and Kiernan Shipka. I hope I said that right. So, Kiernan definitely looks younger, but all generations keep looking younger. Also, she looks a whole lot closer to what the comic book character was, which is cool. Actually, Kiernan looks way cuter with long hair. I mean, way cuter. Just look at what a few inches can do. Wait. Okay, we're in the clear. The whole Satanism thing is super cringe. Not because I'm Catholic or Christian, it's because there's no passion behind the hell Satan. They're forcing it. It's like they're trying to sound believable. Praise Satan. I miss the old Salem. He was my spirit animal. He had the sass. He is what made the 90s show so great. Don't get me wrong, this Salem is a badass too, and he's a protector just like in the comics. But he doesn't talk. He isn't the money baller that I looked up to. I mean, I looked down to. Well, let's jump on this Christmas special. We start off with a flashback, and my first thought was, did they CGI Sabrina? Or did they find a super spot on young Sabrina? I mean, it's not true what they say, right? No, shit, that is Theo. Yep, that is a young Theo from Netflix's Haunting of Hill House. Way to recycle actors. So Sabrina wrote her name in the book. Satan is her pimp now. And she is also rocking the white hair. It's not bad, but 
she still ain't looking as fine as Miss Betty White. Oh. Let's fast forward a little. We have a secret baby named Letitia. Zelda's still a witch. Hilda's too good for this family. Ambrose is still fabulous. And Sabrina misses her mom and Harvey. It's Christmas, but they're not celebrating Christmas. They're celebrating winter solstice. Completely different. It's confusing as hell. And they aren't exactly Satanists. And they aren't exactly pagans either. It's like they're a weird mix of both. It's way over my head at this point, And I just, I, they're celebrating some shit. Sabrina gets another dumb idea, which seems to be a regular plot device for this show. And she goes and asks her two best friends for a threesome. Well, not really a threesome, but the look on their faces seem to suggest that. Actually, she asks them to do a Christmas seance with her. Like, fuck Halloween seances. That is kitty shit. Christmas seances is where that shit is at. So her friends said no. So she went to her other friends who said yes. Which is not a bad idea whatsoever since the last time they got together, one of them died and almost killed half the town. God, why the hell is Sabrina so fucking selfish? So Sabrina saw her mom in limbo. Not that limbo. Actually, yes, that limbo. So she wanted to contact her mom with the seance. And since the veil is so thin during Christmas or solstice, her mom ends up showing up. Then things go bad. Like always. Well, evil witch bitch number one is responsible for that. She is so cold that she can put out any wood. See what I did there? No? Well then. Moving on. They light a Yule log every solstice to protect the house. But now that it's been put out, a bunch of evil little kid ghosts got in, screamed, fuck your tree, and knocked their shit over. I swear to God, Zelda needs to beat Sabrina's ass. She keeps causing shit. My mom would have beat my ass with the tree, the log, and the cat if that shit got in the way. They weren't done with the tree. The evil kid ghost tried to bake the baby, which I found hilarious. I always wondered why child laughter and baby crying is the most creepiest thing in movies. Let's speed things up a bit. So they call the ghost kid's mom, which I'm going to call evil witch bitch number two. They take shots together. She finds out about the baby and then tries stealing the baby. And then Sabrina's mom turns up out of nowhere and, and now she's some kind of super spirit, which makes absolutely no sense. She then makes them do a tug of war with the baby. But then a witch bitch wins because Zelda's actually nice and she takes the baby. Then it turns out the whole thing was some kind of baby jutsu and they played a trick on her. That ain't no baby. That's a bear, baby. Now, during all this, Sabrina's elf friend I am not saying that she looks like an elf. She was actually dressed as an elf. Well, she gets kidnapped by not Santa Claus, not Krampus, but by a pedophile demon. Yeah. And he was listed in the white pages. I give up at this point. And in a not so climactic ending, they turn witch bitch number two against the Christmas pedo demon. Praise Satan. To wrap things up, so they have to get rid of baby Letitia. Because Sabrina's too f dangerous. And her mom passes on, which I still don't get her existence. Harvey's being a pussy, but I don't blame him because, well, he was dating Sabrina. And she's terrible. Cute but terrible. Unfortunately, guys tend to fall for toxic women, but not Harvey. He basically breaks up with her and tells her to stay away, but in a nice way. 
It's solstice morning, and everyone is wearing fancy robes. Everyone is merry, and Sabrina says, May Satan bless us, everyone. But hold up, we get one more very important closing scene. You see three demons come out of the mine, which has been led to believe that it's the gate to hell. Each demon looks like they have a crown on its head and is carrying a gift, which basically reminds me of the three kings from the nativity scene that we were all forced to watch as kids. So who are they going to go visit? And where the fuck was Salem? All he did was sit on his fat. It's time to rate this witch. So if you saw my last review, you'll know I only have three ratings. And those are shit, meh, and peach. So this show is nothing like the 90s TV show. And they aren't trying to be anything like it, which is okay with me. I don't know if it's okay with the original cast though, but the beginning is a bit slow. Sabrina is super annoying. Her friends suck. There's nothing interesting about him. There's, there's no real substance behind them. The cat is just a cat, but the demons and the satanic stuff do make up for a lot of it. Actually, did you hear that the real satanic church sued Netflix because they used the real statue from their church? Ha! So, I rate The Chilling Adventures of Sabrina a uh, meh. So, they did drop a part 2 trailer, and I'm going to break that down real quick. When do you wear black? Trying to be edgy. It's a new year. Mm -hmm. That straight up reminds me of the 90s show. Hold up, guys. Don't forget, it's still a dark show. And is that an orgy? Damn, it looks like Harvey's looking for a rebound. More satanic stuff. It all looks like puberty to me. Do it. Holy shit, was that Satan? He sounded like a car salesman. Do it. No money down. So part two drops on April 5th, 2019. Are you excited for part two? Let me know in the comments down below. Thanks for watching. Tell me what you guys think of the chilling adventures of Sabrina in the comments down below. And don't forget to drop us a like. If you're new here, make sure you subscribe and ring that bell so you get notifications for whenever we drop new videos. I'm Journey, and you can find me on all social media under the underscore Journey. You can also find me on Quest for Player 2, which is my geek dating podcast that comes out every week on Spotify, iTunes, wherever actually. Happy holidays. I love you. I adore you, and I'll see you next time.